Hi, welcome to this course on using Mocha and Chai as our unit test frameworks and writing unit test cases in Node.js and then extending it for writing unit test cases for our REST APIs built on top of Node.js. I'm Ishwa Prasad and you are joining me on this Node.js Everyday.com and Node.js Everyday YouTube tutorials channel and we'll go ahead and write our unit test cases using Mocha and Chai. Before doing anything apart from writing unit test cases using Mocha and Chai, one of the primary important things that we'll have to do is to writing is to getting the Mocha as a global dependency in our uh, uh, in our uh, development machine. So for that, we do an npm install Mocha or Mocha minus G. That it's a, that's that's at the global level. But I've already done that, but I want you all to do it right before you do anything apart from this. And because I've done that, it is good. Apart from that, I'll be writing my unit test cases in a folder called as first unit test case. I've named this as first unit test case because we'll write a couple of unit test cases to understand how Mocha and Chai work together in our development, in our in our Node.js applications. So I want you to go create a folder called as Mocha and Chai, then create a folder called as, uh, sorry, folder called as first unit test. Now before anything that we do in Node.js, all that we'll have to do is create a package.json file. So I go ahead and use npm in it and that helps me in creating a package.json file. Oh, I'm sorry, cd first npm in it. So what does npm do? It asks us a couple of a few questions. What, what do you want to have the name first unit test? What is the version? Leave it uh, description. Uh, first unit test case using Mocha and Chai. No dot js. I'll leave the rest as is. Is that okay? Yes. Then I'll do a clear. Then I'll come back to my folder. I'll check. We have the package dot json file. So that's our package.json. To write our Node.js unit test cases, we want something like a text editor, like a sublime text, or brackets, or Atom, or Visual Studio, or WebStorm, or Visual Studio Code. For me, I've been using Visual Studio Code for a long time now, after its release. And now Visual Studio Code is into a stable version. So I recommend, I don't recommend it, but I feel that Visual Studio Code is, is quite easy and is quite full-fledged just like how you compare it with the uh, professionally licensed IDs and editors. Okay. Okay. So here we are. If I open my package.json file, this is what we have written in the npm in it. And there's nothing apart from this package.json file. So what we have to do is to have dependencies in our application so that we uh, for Mocha and Chai so that we can use them in our application. So I'll go ahead and create, uh, sorry, import uh, the libraries from npm. So th for that to happen, I'll say npm install Mocha dash dash there. This will create a dependency. Uh, this will add a line into our dependencies in package.json file. Those warnings are nothing bad because we haven't write, uh, written anything about the repository and the readme file, uh, readme details. And Mocha is installed. We'll go ahead and install Chai as well. I'm sorry. PM install Chai. Dash dash. Save. All right. So the Chai. 3.5 is installed. If you still want, what I can do is come out of this whole thing and I'll show you Mocha dash dash version and the current version of Mocha that is installed globally for me is 2.5.3. So I strongly would suggest you that you install Mocha globally first and then go ahead and write 
import them into your application at local level so now that we have installed mocha and chai we'll get a first file created into our working directory and name it as test.js one of the important things that we'll have to remember when using Mocha and Chai frameworks as the unit testing frameworks in Node.js is that Mocha and Chai will look for the files that are named as test. No matter what, every applic every test that you write has to be ha written in this test test.js file. If you don't name the file as test.js, I'm sorry, it's not JSON but JS you'll have to create a if you have multiple test files then you'll have to create a folder called as test and put all your test case test cases or the files that have the test cases into that folder so Mook is going to go and look there look for a folder or a file that is named as test or test before we go any further apart from this naming convention called as test.js we in this current screencast series, we are going to use Mocha and Chai in the BDD style. So when I say BDD style, we're going to use the expect and should functionality of the Chai. So let us start writing our code. So I say use strict. I'm sorry. Use strict. Then var chai. I'm sorry. require chai the, uh -oh. then var expect the expect functionality of the chai, chai oh. I'm sorry for all that I'm trying to keep this as quick as possible uh, then chai dot should then we'll write our first unit test case function uh, returns name I'm sorry returns name it takes a parameter name return name. then we'll write our first unit test case and this is describe it takes two parameters one a string and the other one is a callback function U -N -C function I don't want to use the intelligence there because it takes it will give us the params so inside the describe you go ahead and write your unit test cases so describe is nothing but uh, a packaged version of your unit test methods that you write so it is like a class if you're talking about a c-sharp so if there is a class of uh, a uh, uh, employee object and you want to write unit test cases for an employee object or an employee class you go ahead and write unit test cases like employee unit test dot cs so inside that you have all your unit test cases so in the similar way this is like this inside the describe function you put one kind of a unit test case so if for example I have employee unit test cases here then I write another describe and I say salaries and I'll write another function here I'm sorry for the typos I just want to finish it as quick as possible so that you don't waste your time too much listening to my videos then you have hands-on sessions so whatever We'll remove this unit test case and we'll say just give a name unit uh, first unit test and inside this in the BDD style we'll write our first unit test case so it's it and it even it takes two parameters one a string and the other one is a callback function so this is the problem if I use the intelligence function and I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry if you can see that's better and what should I say okay returns the name passed to the f 
function okay so we're gonna write our actual unit test case here so call the function return returns name and send it a string send your name here and it should oh I'm sorry should be equal to are you sure that's it that's the simplest of the unit test case that you can write using mock hand chai don't worry about this this unit test case because this is just the first very 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 first step in the in the in the unit test cases that you're gonna write this is like the baby step that you're gonna have for the first time in if you're writing your unit test cases using mock and chai and for the first time in node.js there are two there are so many big unit test cases coming up and when i say when you're unit testing your node.js apis this means that you have too many test cases to write so to follow me along and you'll be uh, you'll, you'll have a happy ending and understanding all the series of uh, unit test case videos that we're gonna make here so now that we have written our first pure plain unit test case what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and then run our first unit test case so I'm gonna go to our library where oh, I'm sorry uh, we have we have our booking directory cd into that and to run our unit test case all that we'll have to say is mocha and give the file name that we have it and mocha doesn't give us too much flexibility in naming our files as we discussed before it's just that test.js and say enter so there it is we have written our first unit test case and it is successfully passing now so when we look at this two and compare so describe the first unit test case and if we re if if we look at the statement returns the name passed to the function so this means that it's it's a it's in a most readable form and it says that whatever that's passed to the function it's going to get returned to us and it says it's passed and it shows that the unit test case has just taken 30 milliseconds to pass so that's our first step in writing our first unit test case stay tuned uh, we're gonna write few more test cases uh, in part two of this uh, mocha and chai series thank you so much